Hi, in this video I just want to show you how to get D7.2 up and running uh, as quick as possible and this is specific to version 3. If you have version 2 or below what you want to do is update your D7.2 to the latest copy of D7 that it will possibly update to. I believe this is uh, version 2.3.25 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, once you get updated to that version, download the version 3 executable, simply drop it into your D72, existing D72 folder, overriding what's already there. Once you do that, fire up D72.exe and it should convert over most of your config. Now what it will not convert over is your um, custom apps and profiles and we'll have to get to that in just a moment. But if you're new to D7 version 3 entirely, you're going to see this registration screen. Essentially, you'll enter in your company name, dcloud username and password that you've provided me that I've set your account up with, your registration key that I've provided you, and you're going to create a technician password for yourself and your technicians to use, and I don't need to know that, only you do. I would keep it fairly simple. It is also no worthy of note that this password is used to encrypt your configuration when uploaded to dcloud or FTP server and if you change this password you will need to overwrite your configuration on the server otherwise you'll be locked out of it due to the password change. Moving on I'm just going to take a shortcut and use virtual mode. You'll accept the license agreement And at this time, D7.2 should start up and start updating. Should be downloading all of the latest components. And a restart. And now we're ready to go. First thing I want to do is show you that all of the D7 functions uh, the D72 internal functions from previous versions of D72 are still here. They are just now arrangeable like custom applications are. So you would arrange them in the same way that you would create a custom application. Essentially what you want to do is go to your config, custom apps, and here on the right side you have all of your various D72 functions which you can choose from. Most of them have already been, as you can see, populated for you. Okay, so now we're looking at the custom apps. And what you basically want to do is move over to the assign app slash function to section. Choose your section. You get custom boxes on, on each tab, several of those, two to three. So for example, you can take your ADW cleaner select maintenance custom let's go custom to let's go malware for ADW cleaner don't have much in there just double click it and you'll see it add to the list from there you can move it up and down in your order or remove it you can optionally clear the whole list if you don't like what's there and finally you can reset all lists to defaults this will make you type in a confirmation once you reset all lists to defaults, everything should be back to the way it should be. We're going to move on to the D7 functions, and I'll just click this at the bottom, all, all functions for D7.2. And I have just implemented a search feature, so if you can't find what you're looking for, try the search. I'll start out with Windows Update, so I'll just type in Windows Update and click Search. And now I see I have four functions that relate to Windows Update or have that string in the name. I've got Apply Windows Update Settings, Delete Windows Update Backup Directories, Install Windows Updates, or Repair Windows Update. So the search function, and you can click Reset to reset that to No Search uh, filter. So the search function uh, should get you where you're going. Just keep in mind that everything is going to be named about the same as it was in D7 or D7.2 version 2. Some things have changed a little bit but there is going to be a detailed uh, or a, a, a brief description below the name. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. 
If you'd like to see more, visit dsupportonline.com slash DMZ. DMZ gives you access to self-guided personal training on D7-2 and quick tip videos, malware removal videos, custom configurations and definitions for D7-2. You can make custom app requests and get early release access to new app configurations. You can also take an additional 10% off all other D Support Online services and support. Optionally, you can get one-on-one -on -one personalized training, follow-up training sessions, Q&A with the developer in those training sessions, a custom logo setup service. You can attend a webinar of your choice, and that includes premium support services for D apps, including phone and remote support. So stop by today. That's dsupportonline.com/dmz. Thanks for watching.